Hey there, Stephanie Shea, Chief Astrologer for JanSpiller.com here with very special guest Penelope Love of Citrine Publishing. If you've been following the social media and Jan Spiller's newsletters, you know that I'm working on Jan Spiller's final book. And a big piece of this happening uh, is in Penelope's hands as the publisher. It's a very important role to get this book designed, laid out, distributed, marketed, all of the things that take a lot of care, time, and attention. And I think Jan's book really deserved that. I didn't want to go the DIY route. I wanted to go with a real publisher that I felt an affinity with. And we're going to get to hear Penelope's story because you'll see why she's the perfect publisher for this project and this special connection that she feels to Jan's work as well. So welcome, Penelope. Thank you, Stephanie. It's great to be here. Yay. Yeah. So would you like to kind of dive in and talk a little bit about, you know, I thought it was so special how we found each other. I'll give that, that piece where, because Penelope's in publishing, she emailed to Jan Spiller team one day and said, hey, somebody is distributing an illegal pirated PDF of astrology for the soul. And, you know, this is near and dear to my heart. And it was so helpful because I was able to contact the right people to shut that down, stop people from stealing Jan's work. And um, that was our first introduction. But then I didn't know we were going to end up working so closely together. Yeah, Stephanie, it was amazing. It was funny because I believe that between you and KJ Atlas, who is also a writer for JanSpiller.com, you commented that, you know, I'm a cancer son and that sort of sense of protection I felt for Jan's work <laughs> was there from the get-go. And I'll tell you a little bit about why that is um, so that our guests will also know that today. Uh, when I first got Astrology for the Soul, I opened as publishers do to the copyright page and then the acknowledgements. You know, we, we don't bother reading the book first, we read the copyright page. <laughs> and so when I went ahead and started reading the acknowledgements, Jan's first acknowledgement in her book is listed to her spiritual teacher, Ramana Maharshi. And through the teacher, Gangaji. So when I saw those words, Ramana Maharshi, tears filled my eyes because Ramana is also my spiritual teacher through a teacher named Nick Gansitano. And that means that Jan and I are connected and linked through a lineage, the lineage of Ramana Maharshi's teachings and self-inquiry. This is something I've dedicated the past 17 years of my life to on a daily basis. And so when I knew that Jan was also walking that path, I knew that uh, this woman, <laughs> And her approach to astrology was my next step in my own astrological learning. So I um, wrote Jan a really long letter that day. I was so moved and touched. It's not that common to be on the path of self-inquiry as taught by Ramana Maharshi. It's getting more popular with the internet and people finding out about him. But uh, it's not that common. So I started writing her this letter. And... Then when I finished the letter and I went to janspiller.com to send it, I had found out the news that she'd passed in 2016. And um, that, you know, left the letter with me. And in many ways, that's such a beautiful gift that Jan gave me, the ability to write her this letter and pour out my heart to her. And then I had to be with it. I had to be with all of that energy that I was sharing with her. It's like she gave it back to me. And so um, that's my story and my connection with Jan. And when Stephanie called me many months later after I had notified her about the pirated book to do this project, I was just beyond honored. Mm, wow. It's just, yeah, it, it was not a coincidence. I feel that this came together. My whole path since Jan left us has been really well, I would say, paved in the right people showing up at the right time you know we really needed some social media and kj atlas all of a sudden somebody i didn't even really have to train who just had a similar mercury to mine would write things the way i would write and explain them you know and then this happened and it felt very much in sync and the timing of it 
was very special because it was right around Jan's birthday. I remember um, kind of accepting this challenge <laughs> or opportunity to take on finishing the writing of the book. I'm really lucky to have my first astrology teacher, Emily Trinkus, who was also very close to Jan. She worked for Jan before I did passed it on. This is our own little lineage <laughs> from Jan Spiller to Emily to myself. And so this team, in my mind, I've been calling us the dream team because <laughs> I feel like this is, there's everything we need. You know, I have just the perfect editor, the perfect publisher. I've got some spiritual guidance from Jan while I'm writing. And so now it's just a matter of doing it. Um, and so, yeah, I've been busy already working on chapters two and three, making a lot of progress. And um, we have a fundraising campaign going. <laughs> so um, Penelope is, is, has been really helpful in that piece already. Not, it seems above and beyond what a publisher would do because it took some coordination to put this together. You know, uh, we're trying to get the funding for the publishing fees, which really are amazingly <laughs> affordable for, for people to be able to publish a book. And Emily's editing fees, hoping to get a little extra for me as I put aside some paying work. And so we're excited because the campaign is still on through November 23rd. There's still a chance for people who have not contributed to take advantage of this because we have some special gifts that people can receive. Um, and Penelope has pulled up this page, which is amazing. Um, and it's on Indiegogo. I oh, can put, oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> All right, perfect. It looks amazing. Yeah, I can uh, put this link in the comment section of this video so people can easily find it. And the benefits of contributing now while the campaign is going is that what we have to offer is only available through this campaign, you know. So there's all different levels. For the $10 level, you can get a guide to the houses. It's, it's like you're getting a little mini PDF class cheat sheet from Jan Spiller that she wrote herself about this. We've got the ebook, of course. We're really excited about this CD that we have converted. When I say we, I should add Penelope <laughs> has converted <laughs> to MP3 files. And not everybody knows that Jan Spiller was a musician. That was actually one of her first callings and she never stopped being a musician. Um, but she added the astrology in, and of course, she became known for the astrology. But if anyone watching this has read Astrology for the Soul, and I hope you have, you will see there's the songs at the end of each chapter, the healing songs. Well, there is music to go with those lyrics in the books, and it was performed by a musician that Jan knew called Sherry Zucker. And we're very excited. That's reward is going to be available right away. So you will have to wait to get your book, of course. <laughs> See, Penelope's got the CD. And we're so lucky. There's Jan looking lovely with Sherry Zucker on the left of her. And it's all the songs that she wrote for this book. It's called Unfolding As It Should, which I'm a fan of that title too. That's a great title. Um, and yeah, luckily we have older school technology. Don't get rid of your old. <laughs> no, you had to buy the CD burner, right? <laughs> I did. I'd been wanting to buy one, so it worked out beautifully. <laughs> yeah. So see, yeah, it was perfect. So that is something that really you can't find any. That CD is not in print anymore. And we're having the opportunity for people to, if they haven't read Astrology for the Soul or Cosmic Love, there's a donation or contribution level where you can get all three books. There's also where you can get a year's membership to janspiller.com plus a hard copy book plus the CD. Um, so the, it's really a great thing to do, but we're not expecting something for nothing, you know. And at the higher levels, you'll be able to get um, maybe some webinars 
uh, I have that to offer, you know, people, a lot of people come asking to learn about astrology. So that, that is in there as well as personal readings. So I really encourage you to check it out. It's, it's never too late until November 23rd. We've got plenty of time. Um, and this has just been an exciting part of the process to engage with people to let them know what we're doing through the campaign. And I uh, felt so much support. It's been a really cool, we launched it on September 3rd, 23rd. Yeah, and it's been just, I felt really cool writing the updates and engaging with everybody about what's been going on with it. Um, so the plan is to get the book out um, sometime by the end of 2022. <laughs> <laughs> that's the idea uh, I'm gonna be steadily working on it and the cover we should talk about maybe a little bit <laughs> do you, do you want to talk about the cover sure and if I could say a word first Stephanie's updates are just great I really enjoy reading them they're from your heart they're just real about the writer's experience what it's like to just be alone with the blank page and um and Jan's notes <laughs> which yeah. is an extra <laughs> But um, they're just charming. I love re receiving them every week. So thank you. Uh, you're welcome. And then, yeah, we had this in order to put when we put the campaign together, we said, well, we need to show people what they'll be um, investing in. The, and there is an end product. And so we designed the cover. And because the book is a companion guide to astrology for the soul, um, we designed the book to look like its sister or brother, or however you want to. Oh. Sibling, yeah, <laughs> sibling, and um, and instead, I I mean, how we came across the idea of having a hand illustration done of the Saint Mark's clock face in Venice is it was just an inspired idea. As as I was designing uh, the cover, I just found that image. It spoke to me because we have the sun on the cover of the astrology for the soul i was looking for like something lunar and maybe blue and when i googled and found that image it just really sung to me and stephanie had the idea of well let's have a hand illustration done a unique illustration so that it will have the same hand written feeling that Jan's first book does and so we got a wonderful artist named Alana in Portland. Alana and both Stephanie and I are a little bit confused <laughs> about how to pronounce her last name. I'm so sorry, Alana. I'm going to guess it's Gariquis because it's the Spanish last name. And I hope I did not botch that. But yeah. <laughs> Alana Gariquis from Portland did this beautiful illustration. So please check it out. Um, and we will comment and include her on the comments below so you can, you know, show your love to Alana for, for what she gave to Jan's book. It's really beautiful. And she put a lot of time and attention. You should have seen her notes. She had like her compass and drawing angles and making this, this illustration just, um, how would you call accurate to what yeah. the compass was. And we were trying to decide, you know, how should it face and should it represent Jan's birthday and all these questions. And she, knowing, um, I just, you know, the basic knowledge of astrology that she had, she asked all the right questions and I think we came up with just something that we feel really good about. So I hope you all enjoy having that on your shelf because I know that that's one of the things I really love about this book is just the way it feels in your hand and, um, you know, smooth to the touch and it's visually beautiful and the information in it is even better. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it really is about like the whole kind of experience. And I really appreciate you putting the cover together because to me, that's helping to manifest the book into reality. Like you can really see it. I've already gotten so many compliments. It was so realistic looking. Some people thought the book was already done and they're congratulating me. And I was like, that's great. It is done in my mind, but <laughs> it, we're getting to catch up with that vision. <laughs> so um, yeah, thank you to Alana. I will tag her wonderful artist and um, that was just another synchronicity that came together so easily, I think. But when things start happening like that, you know you're in the flow. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to think if there's any other things we want to let people know. Well, could I just toss a fun question at you that we didn't plan for? Oh, yes, I love it. I thought it might be cool if you could share with everybody, what is it in your astrology with Jan that you feel that this project was left in your, in your lap to... Um, or I should say in your care. Yeah. To do. <laughs> That's a great question because 
this is one of those things I know Jan knew and she probably knew I knew, but I'm not sure why we didn't discuss it because we actually have a very special connection. Her south node was conjunct my moon. And so that is a very interesting past life connection if you have read Cosmic Love. Um, and she has even described it as potentially not always the easiest relationship, like there's something kind of from the past life and that with her as a south node person it was um kind of more for her to be nurturing me as the moon person and i sure did feel that and this was all this conjunction occurs for me in my 10th house of career so even be <laughs> yeah it's kind of mind-blowing because she really was in it it felt very kind of motherly energy and encouraging me but also correcting me when maybe i wrote something that needed her guidance and i felt very cared for in that process to where you know i wasn't really ready to lose her in 2016 but i also had the confidence to feel okay I, she left me and this is just with the website you know with what i need and i've had the training and the tools and this is what I'm going to be doing and not to be afraid of it. And so I think the book follows in line with that. Um, and Emily is a fantastic astrologer, writer, and editor. And for her to come on board as the editor also felt like that's something Jan wanted. And I'll have to look at Emily and Jan's charts because I'm sure they had something <laughs> going on too to where Jan set up her team. I think about this a lot because one of the last conversations we had, she said, you're on the team. And the thing that Emily, Jan, and I all have in common <laughs> is North Node 11th house, which is <laughs> very much about the collective. Um, and so Penelope here is North Node second house. We were just talking about that, how you've got the collective and then the second half North Node person comes in and makes it a tangible reality that you can hold in your hands. You know, like this is how I'm seeing um, your important role because people can combine their abilities, but someone's got to bring it into form, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> how to, yeah, so that, that was a great question because that is something I ponder on a lot about the South Node to Moon connection that we shared and, that I think there was something maybe that had happened in the previous lifetime to where she was really here to encourage and build me up and make me feel like I could take charge. Um, so <laughs> that's pretty special. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> sure, and you know, if anybody has other questions that this chat has brought up, please drop them in the comments below. Um, Stephanie and I'll monitor the comments and respond to you. It'll, it'll be my pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is, is pretty close to being live. <laughs> we're about <laughs> to go live and now we just went live and we're going to post it and then I will, I will look for comments uh, <laughs> and see. So um, I'm so glad we got the chance to, to do this. I really wanted people to meet you, Penelope. I've just been so excited. I think, yeah, having Citrine Publishing is, is such an advantage for us, you know, to have for this book and you're going to just bring it out in the world and, and that's, it'll be ready. Yes. I'm looking forward to that day. Yeah. And yeah. The whole, process, the whole process really is just such a beautiful birthing and it's even more fun to watch it unfold in alignment with the astrology and the astrological timing. Really fun. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. So we we're coming into eclipse next Friday. I'm seeing that as a good sign because on November 19th, the campaign's not over yet. And full moon eclipses have a lot of things coming to fruition. And so I'm feeling like this is a very positive lunar eclipse for what I've been working on and what Penelope has been working on over the past few months. And uh, we'd love for people who were fans of Jan, or maybe they're just getting to know me through Jan's website, to kind of be a part of this journey with us. Like, this is a special time in this book creation. Yeah, yeah. And the questions that you might have about the content of the book, I mean, I, I know maybe I'm 
I, I know after my years of experience with writers that it's always helpful along the way of writing a book of this nature that if, if Stephanie's receiving your questions, it will only help her serve you better in the end. So please feel a direct line to connect and contact Stephanie and, and you know, indirectly, I guess we're all connected to this project. Um, anyway, I could be of service along the way. Please let us know. Yeah, that that's totally true. I, I, that's how Jan did it too. She got her research from real people, not just ideas in her head, but interviewing people who have certain nodes, you know, in the case of astrology for the soul and a certain sign. I'll be talking to people with their nodes in certain houses. And so I may put out a call for that if I don't. Some, some people she recommended I call. But yeah, that's that's a really fun way um, to be part of it, too. You know, because it, this is that's how astrology works. It's through people, not just a, a paper chart. <laughs> yeah. Well, in the 10th uh, or in the North Node 11th house, I think maybe, are you going to write this whole book story into the book? Because <laughs> that would be might pretty happen. It might happen. Yeah, that has not escaped me. I'm like, what are the odds of that? The, the two of the authors and the editor all have 11th house North Node. Yeah, quite interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's really special. Yeah, well, I definitely appreciate you taking this time this afternoon and um we will we'll be keeping people updated as we go and um yeah definitely check out citrine publishing website and what they're up to and keep checking janspiller.com we've got lots of astrological content also to keep you uh updated <laughs> since we're coming into eclipses <laughs> <laughs> all right well thank you penelope you're welcome stephanie and thank you for having me really, yeah really been lovely so. It's been great. All right. Bye-bye. See you all. Bye-bye.